The Cuddy Park gate installed by the municipality of Anchorage on Monday is right behind me. This is how homeless residents are having to enter and exit the encampment from now on. The gate comes after we've not only seen Cuddy Park's homeless population grow, but vehicles are piling up too, including various cars, trucks, and mobile homes, inside of which some of the people in Cuddy Park are living. Anchorage police and tow truck operators started clearing a downtown camp last week at 3rd and Ingra. A man who lives here at Cuddy says he was told this gate will be closing Monday night around 10. It's unclear if that will be a daily practice. If we live here, I mean, why can't we come and go as we please? I mean, we may not be paying taxes at this point in time, but in the future when we do pay taxes, I mean, it's like you're trying to like lock us in basically, and it's kind of scary. Mitchell says many of the people experiencing homelessness in the camp consider the gate a real inconvenience. A lot of us are still trying to get our lives together and get jobs, and sometimes we work late at night. Another homeless resident, Lenora Buckles, who says she is currently living out of a car, finds the gate distressing. It's like they're trying to trap it. the homeless in like we're animals, you know, like um, downtown. It didn't work downtown, and, you know, they, there's been a lot of rumors about what, what happened downtown and everything like that, but over here it's not like that. There's families, there's kids. Buckles has other concerns. What would happen, she asks, in the case of an emergency? How would people safely leave the area? Just last month, the Supreme Court sided with a lower court decision saying people who live in homeless camps cannot simply be removed when there is no shelter space available for them. Anchorage municipal officials have also promised details of a winter shelter offering more than 500 total beds that will be coming soon. Alaska's news source has not yet heard back from the city about the installation of the gate. With Monday being a federal holiday, municipal offices were closed. The city has previously said it does not plan on moving people from camps like the one at Cuddy until a formal winter plan is in place. Lex Elverton, Alaska's news source.